Good morning, students. Today I am going to start your fifth chapter, Indigo, which is written by Lewis Fisher. First of all, we'll take the recap of the chapter. Champaran Satyagraha, which was held in nineteen seventeen was the turning point of Gandhi's life. It was 1916 that the Gandhiji was approached by a peace in Rajkumar Shukla from Champaran. He wanted Gandhiji to visit Champaran and to do something for the condition of their peaceance. But due to his personal efforts, he was successful in bringing Gandhi in Champaran after a few months. On the way to Champaran from Calcutta, Gandhiji, in order to understand the sharecropper problem, decided to meet many lawyers just like Rajin Prasad in Patna and Professor J.B. Kaplani in Mujaffarpur. By the time Gandhiji reached Champaran, the news of his mission had spread like wildfire. After reaching Champaran, Gandhiji learned that Arabian areas were divided into the large state and owned by the Englishmen and worked by the patients. Indigo was the main commercial crop of the area as the landlords forced all the tenants to grow indigo on 15% of their land and surrender the entire crop as rent. When landlord learned that the synthetic indigo had been developed by Germans, they asked the tenant to pay them compensation and this brought misery to the peasants and they wanted Gandhiji to help them. Gandhiji first of all collected all the facts and information. He also dealt with the resistance of British. While going to investigation, the maltreatment of the peasant in near area of village Motihari, Gandhiji was ordered to return midway and served a summon to support the court in the morning or report the court in the morning. The peasant came in the huge number. They do not know about the Gandhi's history of South Africa. They just know that a Mahatma who came to help them was in trouble due to the petitions. So they collected with a huge number before the court and it became very difficult for the officers to control the crowd. And they asked Gandhiji to control their men and their crowd. Gandhiji very politely controlled them and asked the official that they should not able to control it and they should be very fair about the judgment. All the prominent um, lawyers including Rajin Prasad, Prish Kishor Babu, Molana Abdul Haq arrived Champaran to support Gandhiji and they said that if they sentenced for to jail they will also complete him in the jail. But Gandhiji received a written communication that the Lieutenant Governor had dropped the case and this was the beginning of the trumpet of civil disobedience in India. Gandhiji along with his team lawyers continued his investigation and met Lieutenant Governor four times. Finally, on an official inquiry was ordered. Gandhiji accepted 25% of money offered to the farmer as refund. This enhances the courage in the down-toed tortured peasants that they have right and they, they can fight for their right also. 
event had proven Gandhi's position. The British planter had leave their property within next few years. These properties were returned back to the peasants. End of sharecropping soon came to an end. Gandhi was not satisfied by achieving the political and economic solutions. He sought to remove the culture and social backwardness of the Champar. Gandhi wanted to do something to remove the backwardness of the village Champaran. He requested teachers such as Mahadev Desai and Nare Parekh and their wives to teach the villagers, both of them the followers of Gandhiji. Many of the volunteers came from Bombay and Pune and joined them. Mrs. Gandhi and his younger son Deta Gandhi also arrived from the ashram. Many primary schools were opened in Sikh villages and Mrs. Gandhi used to teach the ashram rules of cleanliness and community sanitation. This is the arable land of the Champaran and this is the condition of the peasants. While Gandhiji was in Champaran, he kept a long distance vessel in ashram. He used to send letters to the order re regarding finance matters. And once he wrote to the locals that it was time to dig new latrines as the old ones had started giving foul smell. Foul smell. The Champara incident changed the Gandhi's life. He said that he had done the regular thing. He had put his point across that the British could not order him in his own country. The health condition of the people of Champaran was very poor. So Gandhiji got a doctor who offered his services free to, of course, for six months. There was only three medicines, cluster oil, kunar and sulfur ointment available. A patient with a coated tongue was given cluster oil. A malaria patient was served a dose of kunar and the patient with a skin disorder was given the ornament and cluster oil. The women of the area used to wear dirty clothes. They, when Gandhiji tried to know the reason through his wife, he was told that there were the only sarees which they wish this woman had. Champan where Mohandas became Mahatma. The Champaran Satyagraha was not an act of opposition. It was an attempt to help out poor and tortured peasants. This was the Gandhi's way to solve issues. His politics was knitted up with the everyday problems faced by the millions of people. He did not aim at fulfillment of ideas, rather he was concerned for the people. The basic idea was to serve humanity and make a free Indian who can stand on his own feet. Satyagraha does not depend on outside help. It drives all strength from within. This was the Gandhi's teaching. Charles Andrew, who was a peacemaker, visited Gandhi before going on a tour of duty to Faziland. Gandhi's lawyer friends wanted Andrew to stay at Ashram and help them, but Gandhi refused. He said that he did not need help of Britishers, as it shows a lack of trust in their own abilities. He asked them not to seek any help from Mr. Andrew, as he was an Englishman. Rajan Prasad later on stated that Gandhi had read their thoughts and his reply served as a lesson of self-reliance for them. Being self-dependent, free and helping the peasants, all these acts of Gandhi were interconnected. So, self-reliance, Indian independence and help to the sharecroppers are bound together. You can say they are the yarn of the Indian independence. This all the Champaran Satyagre. Children, I think you can able to understand this chapter nicely. So read it thoroughly and try to understand well. Thank you.